Fabian asks, What fuels you to make these videos? I mean, what keeps you motivated? The reason I ask is because you have endured many years and still seem as enthusiastic. I have been going quite a while. I've been on YouTube more than a decade, and I've posted more than a thousand videos. A lot of YouTubers suffer from what's called creator burnout, which is exactly what it sounds like. After making videos for years, people just get burned out. Christian apologists who deal with Islam might have a tough time as well, because there's a lot of negativity on YouTube. You've got Muslims showering you with abuse. Then you've got 487 atheists all mindlessly posting the same comment. Lol, Christians and Muslims arguing, my sky daddy is bigger than your sky daddy. The lack of originality is the most depressing feature of atheist comments. The worst part is the Christians constantly sending you messages telling you how unchristlike your behavior is and how much you must hate Muslims because you dedicate your life to exposing Muhammad and the Quran. Now, I'm obviously not talking about all Muslims or all atheists or all Christians. There are plenty of nice Muslims out there, and I have a ton of atheists and Christians who love my videos. But there is this endless barrage of negativity. You've got Muslims in front of you. You're trying to show the Muslims that they've been lied to their entire lives and that you're trying to help them. And they call you a liar and threaten to kill you in response. And while you're trying to focus on helping Muslims, you've got atheists over here trying to distract you by quoting the latest meme they saw. And as you're trying to ignore the atheists so you can focus on the Muslims, you've got Christians running up behind you, trying to trip you up, jabbing you in the back with a knife. Fabian wants to know what keeps me motivated. Well, Fabian, you can already see part of the answer in the comment above yours. I left Islam because of David Wood, and now I'm Christian. Reading comments from people who are leaving Islam, or from people who were about to convert to Islam but changed their minds, these kinds of comments are pretty awesome motivators. I love you, David. You opened my eyes to the truth. I was born a Muslim, and in front of my family, I am still a Muslim, but I prefer a religion that teaches love. Hey D. Wood, thanks for opening my eyes. I was born Christian. I was about to leave Jesus and Christianity and accept Islam due to Zakir Naik, but then I spent some time on your videos, and then I realized how stupid I was for believing Islam's biggest liar, Zakir Naik. A real thanks and blessings from our Lord Jesus. Amen. That's part of the motivation. In addition to that, just looking at the world and seeing the impact Islam has in terms of violence and oppression makes me want to expose the source of the violence and oppression, namely Muhammad and the Quran. And finally, Muslims are phenomenal motivators for someone like me. Here, I don't mean the ones who are leaving Islam. I mean the Muslims who shower you with abuse whenever you share facts about their prophet or their book. Let me give you a few examples. Here are some recent comments. Censored you, David. Censored Wood. Tell your God to make your children better. Or enjoy the punishment that Allah gave you by your children. It's your punishment for what you are telling. Here our Muslim friend is referring to my two disabled children. Two of my five sons have a rare terminal genetic muscle disease. Muslims inform me on a daily basis that this is the curse of Allah. Of course, these same Muslims insist that Allah would never punish one person for the sins of another person, so they don't mind contradicting themselves. And we could always ask them why Muhammad's three sons, Qasim, Abdullah, and Ibrahim, all died in childhood. But we'll save that for another time. I'm gonna smash this guy face. I've seen more intelligence in a 10 years old than you three old sad men. David Wood looks like a pedo, Sam looks like a pedo, and Christian Censored, he's talking about Christian Prince, looks, sounds like he enjoys little boys censored inside his throat. Ironic that people who follow a prophet who had sex with a prepubescent girl accuse other people of looking like pedophiles. 
Come and fight with me, man to man. What filthy animal, how can people take you, Siri, you, usly? What censored, and I am outraged, something like you can even exist and talk. You are ashamed to all things that exist. May you turn into a pig. You say one word against Allah, I will execute you by my hands. Stop harding me. You want to convince someone to be a Christian, try me. All that you want is for all of us to burn in the hellfire. Look at your family. They're all disabled because of you. Yes, the great God Allah can't confront me directly, so he went after babies. Censored you, censored your whole family, you're a biggest censored in the world. I apologize for the language. Keep in mind that it is Ramadan. Foul language from Muslims, much like food consumption for Muslims, always skyrockets during Ramadan. Do your censored research, you dumb censored scumbag. You gave false censored evidence and I am disgusted by you. You are so blind that you can't see what questions you're asking. May Allah guide you to the right path soon. Yes, Allah is guiding me by attacking babies and sending me comments from morons. He can't give source of his own father, evil wood mother, censored by Satan, then born this mess. This kind of abuse is built into the fabric of Islam. It's a means of controlling people. Most people don't like being threatened or insulted. So if you threaten and insult them enough, you can control their behavior. But our Muslim friends don't seem to understand that while this may work with some people, threats and insults can have the opposite effect on other people. If you tell me that you're going to kill me if I make fun of your prophet, I can personally guarantee that I'm going to make fun of your prophet. If you send me insults, I automatically go after your prophet. I'm just wired that way. So here's the other part of what keeps me going, Fabian. Jihadis are slaughtering people in the name of Allah. So I expose their prophet and their book. When I expose their prophet and their book, Muslims send me threats and insults. But threats and insults just make me go after their prophet even more. We're now locked in a beautiful cycle. I go after their prophet, they come after me. I go after their prophet more, so they come after me more. So I escalate my rhetoric and my output, and they escalate their threats and insults and whining. This can only end in one of two ways. Either they chop my head off, or their religion crumbles. But either way, a lot of Muslims are going to leave Islam. And it's going to be fun to watch. Someone should make a leaving Islam reality show.